The treacherous Cha'ula has requested to speak before the High Council on Kronos. A little-used Klingon law has restored her house, temporarily. And as matriarch of her house, she has the right to speak before the Council if she wishes. Whether she leaves the Great Hall alive or in chains remains to be seen. She has much to answer for. As part of the task force assigned to deal with Ja'ula, I have requested your presence during this meeting. Should the barbarian make a nuisance of herself, I expect you to do what must be done. Serve the Empire well. This will be a historic day. There will finally be a reckoning for Ta'ula and House Mokai. While I'm surprised that the Chancellor has seen fit to allow Ta'ula to speak, I believe it is only a formality. One way or another, she will face justice today. Ha! She is Klingon. She is coming here for a fight. Trust me, surrender is not her goal. Ja'ula was a skilled politician well before she became the matriarch of her house. I think she hopes to sway other great houses to her cause today. Normally, I would consider this a wasted effort, but... Yes, there are many Klingons who hold Ja'ula's brother Takuma in high esteem. They honor his dreams and his vision, especially where the Federation is concerned. Unfortunately, Many Klingon see Ja'ula in the same light, and that concerns me greatly. In addition to the Chancellor himself, I would speak to a few house dignitaries before the event begins. Any insight we can gain on their motivations will be valuable. I would begin with House Martok. They are currently neutral, but that may not last. A word from Martok can change the course for many houses. House Duras is as always aligned with Jim Park. They may speak with you on matters the Chancellor will not, however. House Collect was once a staunch ally of House Mokai, and many believe they have renewed that alliance. I would see where they stand if you can. Finally, I would speak with the representative from House Mokai. Recall the ancient Klingon proverb, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A car is an arrogant braggart. He might slip up and reveal valuable information to you. Look, nah. speak quickly or I will point you at the business end of my boot. What of it? Old Jempak will buff up his chest and make a lot of loud, irritating noises before he tries to put Ja'ula to the blade. 
<laughs> Besides that foolish look on your face, yes, something amuses me greatly. Stick around, and you will learn what it is soon enough. You, Jempak, and all the other ligament chewers that fill the hall with noise and flatulence. This is Titus. Go bother someone else, assassin of joy. You there! Not you, you! Yes, come over here. Waroth, son of Waldon, has a warrior's thirst! Are you here to bring me more blood wine? I'll be the judge of that, Globfly! I could drink Kalos himself under the table if I wanted to. What do you want, then, if not to refill my flagon? My first thought is... That it's a fine excuse to drink. My second thought is that I need more to drink. And there they are. All my thoughts on this so-called summit. You come to the Great Hall at a time of conflict within the Empire. I hope you're prepared for anything. Klingon diplomacy can be quite combative at times. Well, that is wise. Two things are clear to me today. Jim Parker's running out of allies, and the Mokai have more friends than he knows about. If it comes to blows, be on your guard. Someone might decide it's time to put their knife in your heart. I will do what is right for my family, for my house, and for the Empire. The Chancellor and I... Do not agree on many things, but I would not see all I have fought for destroyed by the Mokai upstart. For now, Jempak has my support. Kavan, I take it you're here to see where my house stands on the Cha'ula drop. Cha'ula is a product of a dead age, chasing the dreams of her martyred brother, seeking the glory of a war long ended. She is a threat to the prosperity of the Empire, and will be dealt with as such. Yes, while I do not agree with the Chancellor on all things, he has the best solution for this problem, and he will have the support of my house. If there's nothing else, there are other matters that require my attention. You. I never forget a face, and yours is one I thought I'd never see again. Tell me, have you come to seek vengeance for your dead friends, Starfleet? I believe we have a little time before this ridiculous summit begins. Shall we bear our blades and finish things like warriors? You disappoint me, Starfleet. Staining my blade with your life's blood would have been glorious. Then again, the day has just begun. Perhaps you will find your spine and change what little mind you have inside that thin, ugly skull of yours. Should that come to pass? I will be waiting. In the meantime, I must endure this pathetic excuse for diplomacy. Ah, but soon, Joula will speak truth to power, and her voice will be heard throughout the Empire. When she is done, all true Klingon warriors will know the truth and do what must be done. Soon there will be justice. At last. We shall see, Starfleet. Soon. We shall see. Come on. Thank you for attending this summit. If we are lucky, it will end quickly and without bloodshed. I will deal with the Mokai traitor and her misbegotten how swiftly and with finality. If there is any part of them that remains Klingon, they will meet their ending with honor as warriors. If not, 
They will spend the rest of their days in the frozen depths of the penal colony at Rurapente. At least there they will provide some service to the Empire. We'll find out soon enough. The Barbarian is due to arrive shortly. Be wary. The woman is treacherous. She may try any number of things to avoid her unpleasant fate. The time draws near. Return to my position. We will watch the proceedings from here. Council recognizes the leader of House Mokai. Speak! Klingons! Warriors of the Great Houses! In the name of Kalis and of Takuvma! Hear me now! You know my name. You know my house and what it has done for the Empire. And today, I come before you with the truth. The Chancellor of this Great Empire is a coward. And a liar! He stole his title! He claimed it after winning a duel to the death with Marta. And yet Marta, the true Chancellor, still lives. But Jim Park's dishonor doesn't end there. When the Herc returned, he hid from our greatest enemy, the Craven Vakiri. Once Marta the Empire to glory, we had the Federation on their knees. And now, now we build ships with them. The stench of our honor must be cleansed! Let us bring an end to Jemdok's reign! You dare to speak of honor here? You are no traitor to the Empire? The only thing ending today is you, woman. I think not! Protect death to Jemdok! Here, there are things we need to discuss. So much for diplomacy. I had a feeling that Jaula would attack. I admit surprise at the number of allies he had at his side, however. Jim Park will demand swift retribution on Jaula and any house that stood with her today. I suspect my days of neutrality will be coming to an end soon.
I am Captain Karsnar of the Imperial Battlecruiser Mopwich. It is good to see the face of an ally. We were ambushed by Mokai rebels. The filthy Bachtok did not grant us a warrior's death in battle. Instead, they left us adrift in space, to die without honor. Ah, but now you are here. Assist us with repairs, that we might hunt those treacherous curs together, and send them howling to Grethor! Good. My crew yearns for glorious combat. Soon, there will be great deeds worthy of song. We will fight, and if we die, it will be with honor, and we will drink together in Stormacor! Kapla! Simpak will put these Mokai rebels down like the rabid dogs they are.
Your house, as they say, is about to burn. And we all know who fights in a burning house. Don't be a fool. Hear me now. This doesn't have to end with your death. This meeting does not have to end in battle. Join me. Fight at my side. And help me bring an end to Jempak. We both know war between Federation and Empire will happen one day. It is inevitable. Would you rather fight at my side, as an honored ally, or die under my boot? As you wish. You've made your choice. Now face the consequences. Fight well, and die with honor.
those Starfleet ships won't last much longer against that Mokai force. Let's join the fight before it's too late. Commander Sunun on Sadea base. We're still clearing the virus from our core systems. We have partial control and should restore full ops soon. Our long range sensors are picking up numerous signals at high warp House Mokai and Starfleet. That's not the half of it. Those ships are all coming in on the same approach vector. I'd say it's a fair bet those Starfleet ships are under Mokai control. Stay sharp out there. This could be another rough fight. Here they come! And they're locked and loaded!
ships. Let's hope we can get the computers on those ships clear before more enemies come in for the kill. to remotely trigger a warp core breach. The damage was catastrophic. Looks like a few escape pods were able to eject before the explosion. We'll take care of them.
there's more. Alliance Command sent orders our way. There's trouble in a Romulan star system. Mokai trouble. They asked for all of us to look into it, but under the circumstances, I think it's best for Enterprise to remain here with the survivors and the other ships. Yes. Until we can make absolutely sure their computers are virus-free, I don't want to risk taking those ships into battle. Each one of them could be rigged to blow, or worse. Go on ahead. We'll catch up as soon as we're able.
made it here just in time. I think it's time to close that rift. Our sensors are picking up vessels on the other side. Ilachi by the look of these readings. Scanning in progress. Something's wrong. The rift isn't closing. Ilachi warships on intercept course. They're coming from the rift. Shipyard. Transmitting the coordinates now. We'll 
join you there as soon as you stabilize the situation on base station R88. warrior arrives to heed the call to battle. Kaban! Ja'ula and her boot-licking Targspawn have a fleet near the orbital shipyard complex. It is likely they mean to raid it for anything they can steal, or blow it to pieces to deny its services to the Empire. <laughs> indeed. Enough of this ligament chewing. We are here, ready to fight. Come, let us show them the price of their dishonor. People of Kufat, Hear me now! I come to you now as a liberator, not a conqueror. I wish to free you from the tyranny of the false chancellor, Jempok. Kuvat is the birth world of my mother. Stand with me now, and we will find honor and glory together! Some of you may choose to meet me in battle, so be it. I will grant you an honorable death, a warrior's death. The choice is yours.
face. Justice. Do you accept? Or is there still a small part of you that remains Klingon? A part that demands to die in battle with honor. Weak, arrogant, and stupid is no way to go to
This is a dark day. The poisonous words of Ja'ula have spread like wildfire throughout the Empire. Many warriors have dishonored their house and sworn allegiance to her. It is the first day of a Klingon civil war. It will not last for long. I will make every Klingon see Ja'ula for what she truly is. They will turn their backs on the so-called Liberator and her treacherous house. Soon I will place her skull in the Great Hall as a reminder to all. Betray the Empire. Betray me. And you will pay the ultimate price. A traitor's death. Eternity in the halls of Grethor. Forever damned. Forever without honor. Serve the Empire. Congratulations, Captain. 